Michael Shego and boys, Mike here. Boys, I'm glad you dropped in again today. We have a little project today on the MTD tractor. Uh, I need to do a bunch of things to it to get ready to become a daily driver, but what I want to do today, I want to take the rear wheels off in preparation of painting the rims and changing, uh, putting tubes in them because they go flat all the time. So I thought no sense videoing this because, you know, taking wheels off tractor, how difficult could that be, right? So with the left side it came off pretty easy. Just took the axle nut out, poof, slipped it right off. But the right side, not so much. The right side, the wheel was rusted solid to the axle. And whoa, 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 I'm saying solid is solid can be. I tried hitting it from behind with a drift punch to try to drive it off. But I didn't want to do that too much because I was afraid I'd damage the rear end. So what I did was I made some uh, penetrating oil out of hydraulic fluid and mineral spirits. Maybe not the best combinations, but that's all I had. Anyways, I put some uh, penetrating oil on it and let that sit for two or three hours. And then I made up, I had a three jaw gear puller, six inch three jaw gear puller, and I made that up into a two jaw wheel puller. <laughs> Modified it somewhat. And anyways, I struggled with that for the longest time, probably an hour or more. But anyways, I finally got the wheel to move on the axle. And uh, the video is going to start just as I'm ready to almost finish taking the wheel off the axle. And we'll take it from there. But it was an awful struggle, and I thought I should make a video about this. To show how I went about getting this rusted wheel off the axle on my MTD lawn tractor. So I'm trying to get my rear wheel off here. Not sure how good this is going to work. It's on there pretty good. So there's my setup for pulling this tire off. This, uh, the main part of it here, that's a, a three arm or two arm six inch uh, gear puller. And I took the uh, solid arms off it and then made little chain link pieces to go into the hub. You can see a little bit better there. Anyway, I didn't show you while I was working with it because I worked at it for a long time. I bet you, well, six or eight tries because I was having trouble because I only had two arms working on the chain pull. I was having trouble getting the gear puller to stay straight to make an even strain on it. It was really really hard to do what I did here to get that wheel off. I had to drill two holes in the wheel so I could bolt the chain to the wheel in here and here. You can see that. But anyway I didn't show it all coming off but it did come off. I just want to show you this Here's the big climax. <laughs> you can see that hub is uh, pretty rusty. It's in bad shape, so I have to do a lot of uh, clean up on that. And uh, I hope that I haven't damaged the wheel under this tire. Because that's a tubeless tire and I need to put a tube in it because it was leaking, of course. So that's what this whole project was about. But anyway, that's a homemade gear puller slash wheel puller now. So there's the wheel. I had to drill a hole right there and another hole on this side right there. So I just drilled a couple quarter inch holes so that I could bolt my chain links on there. And then this is the actual puller here, so I'm going to uh, take my chain off here and put the arms back on it. In other words, reassemble this puller to what it originally was. I just took just ordinary chain. This is uh, 3 16 chain, I think. And I, I took four links of it and I bent the bottom link so that I could bolt that in tight on the wheel hub. Well, not tight, but close to it. And then uh, I did manage to damage the screw thread here a little bit as, a, as the chain was pulling on it because the chain was across that. But anyway, it didn't work out too bad. So this is my three-jaw puller. It's a six-inch puller. 
And like you saw, I took I took all three jaws off it, but then I, I fabricated these connecting links on the two opposite arms, so I because I only had two holes in my uh, wheel, and then I used these chain links with this nut and bolt through the wheel, and then I passed the, the uh, connecting link here through this chain, so I had adjustments on the chain. I could move it up, and then the end of it I went right tight with this final link to pull that uh, wheel off. But uh, everything here is oily, covered with oil because I used a lot of lubrication to try to get this uh, wheel free on the axle. Uh, I ended up, I didn't have any penetrating oil, but there's lots of things you can use for this trick, like WD-40, actual penetrating oil would be ideal, of course. But because I didn't have any, I tried to make some. I used some uh, TDH oil from my tractor, hydraulic oil it is, basically. And uh, I mixed, uh, I didn't have any acetone. They say, when you look up on YouTube, they say mix uh, the hydraulic oil uh, with, or transmission, automatic transmission fluid, things like that, with, uh, with acetone. But I didn't have any, so I used mineral spirits. Uh, and then I had problems with my little uh, squirt bottle. Right here is my squirt bottle. I have a mixture of 50-50 hydraulic oil and mineral spirits, but uh, then the pump wouldn't work. It wouldn't pump that oil because it was so thin. But anyway, that's another problem. <laughs> but I managed to get enough oil in around there to loosen it up somewhat, and then just uh, put some pressure on it. And then I hit, what I what I do is uh, after I put the pressure on it, I would hit this end with a uh, maul to try to get some jarring force on that to loosen that up. And eventually I did manage to get that wheel pulled off the axle. So now I have to go clean up the axle I have to break this wheel down because I need to put tubes in them. Uh, this and the other side, they're to clean up both axles, lube them up good, clean the hubs, and make sure when I put these back on they can come off again if need be. So anyways, it was quite a little job to get these wheels off the tractor, but they're off. So now we can move forward. So you know, I thought this job was probably going to take an hour, take the wheels off, you know, and then get ready to start uh, taking the rims out, but oh boy, when I got to that wood that was rusted on the, the axle, I didn't think I was ever going to get it off, and then I didn't know what to do. Uh, I didn't like to hit it too much from the back with the drift punch, because that put so much force on the differential, and I didn't want to damage the differential, because that would have just meant a scrap job, I think, for the rest of the tractor, so I didn't want to damage that, but anyways, made up that little puller, or accommodated the puller ahead, suit the wheel and suit the application that I needed it and uh, although that didn't go right smooth uh, the penetrating oil I used I don't think was ideal penetrating oil either but it did the trick it got in there and lubricated it all pretty good and I eventually got the wheel off as you saw so now we can move on to taking those wheels off the rims painting them putting some tubes in and that's coming up in a future episode on Grand Piece of Workshop. So if you're new to the channel, welcome, I'm so glad you dropped by, I hope you enjoyed the, the video and I hope you leave me some comments, I hope you thumbs up me. From regular viewers too, thanks a million, let me know what you think about this little process I went through to get the uh, rusted wheel off the axle of my lawn tractor. Thanks everyone, stay safe, have a great week, we'll talk to you.